All right, it's Wednesday morning. Uh, I've got a fresh cup of coffee next to me and a new update has just been pushed to the test server containing a new map. The new map being uh, Karakin. Uh, apparently you can only select random map, but we'll get to that later. Um, first I will have a look at the new season pass. And look at that, I can already claim a new bomb skin, Pearl Dynasty. Let's equip that. Let's check out the preview. Ooh, so shiny. Uh, what else is in the pass? New emotes. Oh God, okay. Uh, new hairstyles. Uh, yawn emoji. I kind of need that. Someone's trying to impress me. I'll be like, nah, you don't impress me much. All right. Plenty of new clothing items. A boomerang called. <sighs> okay, boomerang. Oh dear. Trying to be very hip. Uh, ooh, a skin for the tricycle. Nice. Cat ears, level one helmet. That will be very popular, <laughs> I imagine. Okay, awesome. Got some swag in your emotes. Uh, stretching. More hairstyles with braids. Ah, oh, you can do a headstand. Nice. Smooth. New level three helmet skin, Rapture Squad. Hog skin. Ah, and a new dance. That is quite a long dance. Level 90, so that's something to work towards. Uh, let's see, what's the final reward? A skin for the AK, interesting. A new level three backpack, that looks kind of nice. Okay, uh, a whole lot of new missions. I'm not going to go through that now. It's a lot to take in, so let's just have a look at this new map. Um, I will be playing one man squad. I don't know what region it's on, but usually it's either Asia or North America. So I guess we'll see. Let's hope I get the right map or let's just hope they have that one map. I know the new map Karakin is supposed to be uh, a fast paced spicy map. But for now, I'm just going to explore, especially since I'm playing one man squad. I can't really play aggressively. I'm not, not that good to take on full squads during the whole game. So, whew, um, there's not a lot of towns here. It's just one, two, three, four, five towns plus the cargo ship and a lot of featureless mountainous areas in between i mean i suppose there's plenty to discover uh, plenty to discover from what i saw there's also underground areas though i have no idea where any of the entrances would be so i guess we'll just have to uh, start exploring and oh yeah this is a 64 player map so right now we have 56 joined a couple more and it should start the game See what's this? Just 
just a bunker of sorts. Yeah, I do wonder where those entrances to the underground areas are. Uh, well, we might be lucky and discover one, but I uh, can't really just guarantee it. This is literally the first time I've seen anything of this map for real. Like, aside from just screenshots. Here's one of the towns. El Hayik. Let's just mark the uh, fly path so I know generally where people will have landed. Okay, these are fairly tightly packed towns. Uh, this looks like to be one of those walls that's breachable by C4. Maybe we can get to do that as well. Fifty-nine players. Okay, it's not a full match, but close enough. So, um, yeah, I suppose a lot of squads will be going to the uh, large town. So, let's try here. That's a reasonably sized compound that I would not expect a squad to go to. But if they do, then I can always divert it there. So, let's just give it a go. Yeah, this is not a large map. <laughs> I'm really gonna have to get used to the size here because... Uh, okay, there's a two-man squad going there. Let's just go to this oasis then. Oh, no, more than a two-man squad. I'd rather not die instantly, so... Uh, uh, okay, there's people going to the far town as well. Yeah, that was to be expected. All the squads will be going to the large towns. I wonder how long matches will last on this map. Ooh, sticky bomb. Here's some new sound effects. Oh yeah, let's... Uh, ah, here's a wall that can be demolished. See, quite a few walls that can be demolished. And a scar L, I would rather have that then. Okay, let's just let's just try this uh, sticky bomb. Okay, now what? Ah. Okay, that's pretty easy. going on about those hills okay that is the new black zone let's just have this look should be able to see it from here that compound will be demolished a little bit out in the open here so Okay, that's how it works. Those buildings just got reduced to ash. Nice. Oh yeah, you can see the buildings marked on the map as well. Those are gone now. <laughs> Already down to 36. I don't even have a bag or a vest yet. <laughs> vest has just been taken care of. Oh. There was a vert grip in that compound where I started, but I didn't pick it up. Oh, 
There's another set of bombs going. Okay. So it actually goes at a pretty fast rate. Yeah, that's already been demolished. That, that, that. Ah, we still have disc fragments. <laughs> Some things never change. is going really slowly that that looks that looks wrong to be honest that's not the speed at which the plane is supposed to move even a video game plane favors us. Let's see what's this bigger building here. Judging from the map I would have expected a warehouse but uh, lots of splody booms. And that's not a door apparently. Hey, sticky bombs are also a thing now, <laughs> I guess, because you have to look out for instead of grenades. Uh, yeah, I guess that was worth two guys. Fine. Um, let's just do one more. I'm not quite done exploring yet. I was not really uh, prepared for a fight yet. There we go. Something. Play on Kerrigan. Wow. Quite the accomplishment. And this has all remained the same, I guess. Let's just do one more game. that last time you can throw rocks amazing instead of apples or snowballs you can throw rocks stones these are very fragile stones to check some of these coastal areas if I can. Don't know what that is. Kind of curious. So 
So you have plenty of these smaller compounds. So last game I tried to land here, ended up landing there, went up there, through there, and died there. Just to get a sense of the scale of this map. Let's see if I can go there. And if someone else is landing there, then I go there or there. And I guess I can already start dropping about halfway through the flight path, like there maybe. The scale of this map is really something to get used to. <laughs> I do drop quite fast as well. Yeah, okay, looks like I should be able to land at my designated landing point. Um, yep. Okay, so these larger buildings, it looks like you can't actually oh crap One down, there's another here. I think we're all solos. Uh, he's gone, okay, good. Well, my first kill on Karakin, amazing. It was a Winchester kill. Which also means, by the way, that apparently Winchesters exist on this map. So anyway, I was going to observe that apparently these large buildings you can only get into by breaching them with C4 because there are no normal doors on them. Unless, you know, these doors don't open. Hmm. Fascinating. going to get demolished. Yep. Shit. Don't have any healing items or armor or anything yet. Like that. Okay, so this bit has been exploded. Um, still loot around though. It's good to know. Does pay to uh, go into blown up areas.
there's my knock on the uh Okay, uh oh, let's get here. Yeah, he bled out. I guess he went off on his own. Smart. So I might go a bit more inland now. Shooting going on to my left. Sounds like it might be the hills. Yeah, this is a pretty fast paced map, I can already tell. 24 alive. Just a lot of stuff happening at the same time. Barely any time to loot. Or time to explore, but I'll just do my best to avoid people as much as I can. I can use a, a red dot or something. Backpack, much appreciated. Sticky bombs are uh, quite common. I wonder if sticky bombs replace all the different, or well, basically grenades on this map. I haven't seen any regular grenades, I mean, aside from smoke grenades and such. Plenty of sticky bombs. First impressions though, map is a little bit featureless in my opinion. There's not a whole lot going on visually or in terms of variety. I'm already seeing a lot of the same types of buildings. I'm just looking at the map itself, like you've got these towns, which I should be exploring a bit more, but again, playing against squads. But in between, there's just not much there. It's just some small compounds. No interesting features that I can tell. Just hills. Hmm. I'll just have to play it more to uh, give my final judgment. But so far, it's not very inspiring. Sticky bombs. Don't 
plenty of people with Winchesters apparently. That actually sounded pretty close. in black zone. <laughs> yep, that's a thing that will happen now. Is this map kind of light on sniper rifles? Aside from the Winchester. Let's rotate back. It's going to be a team on yellow. are gonna get blown up if you're not careful. Oh, that was it? Just one building? Okay. I guess I needed to run anyway. I'm still not in zone. Oh, was someone there in that compound with me? <laughs> Did you start from black zone? I guess there is a car 98 on this map. Expect it until the end. Well, 
The place that I wanted to go to would have been blown up by the Black Zone. So that was not going to last long anyway. Okay, so it's these three versus one other. And I would guess it's the solo player that I was looking at just before I died. Yep. Yep, yep. There we go. Fourth place with two kills. Not bad. Not bad. Let's just watch my death cam. How visible was I? Pretty visible, I imagine. Oh. Death cam is not working. Great. Let's just forget about that then. Yay, I've been promoted. Awesome. I did 286 damage with just a Winchester. What mission did I do? I needed to ledge grab two times. What an accomplishment. Again, it wants me to equip the... Uh, already equipped it. Okay. So yeah, that was a first impression of uh, the new map, Karakin. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what to think of this map yet. It's clearly very fast-paced, short games, smaller amounts of teams. <sighs> not necessarily what I am looking for with PUBG, but I guess it will be quite popular with the people who just want to get a quick fix. I mean, I've been playing for just over half an hour now, which includes introductions, and I've played two games, well, one and a half game, pretty much. So uh, yeah, these games are pretty short. I would I would guess they're about 15 minutes in total. So that's uh, very short. Um, barely any time to loot. <laughs> like I was I was only just about geared up near the end. Then I died. And it took me a long time to actually get what I needed. So uh, yeah, you'll need to do a lot of killing to get fully geared up and uh, get everything that you need. Um, but I mean. It's, it looks promising. There's some interesting new gameplay mechanics in there. There's a lot of pressure on players, so you need to keep moving around a lot, which means that you'll get into fights more more often. Um, it's fascinating, but I'll, I'll have to play properly with, uh, with a full squad as well to be able to judge how this is going. I haven't actually seen the, the big towns yet, um, nor have I been able to, to check out those larger warehouse buildings. But, uh, yeah, these are sort of things that are still in store, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I'll have to play more and with full squads to be able to, to judge uh, fully how, how good this map is. But uh, it looks uh, pretty okay. It's something new and interesting to discover in PUBG, which is always a good thing. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, good luck and have fun playing this map. See you around.